second class trial for February 24th, 2022. Before we head in, let's go into the shop. I am not using any, um, no tears as usual, no potions. The class weapon is the Serpentine Dagger. You can get this for free for getting 250 wins with the Assassin class equipped. Uh, and let me show you what it does. Hold on just a second here. Do, do, do. Serpentine. Ser whoopsie. <laughs> there we go. Serpentine Dagger does damage to an enemy and poisons them. There's a 10% chance to kill them instantly. And if they are already poisoned, there's a 20% chance to kill them instead. Um, the only troops that you will not be able to insta-kill you'll have a 0% chance, are the Dooms, Enraged Karindara, and Leonis Tower. Those are the ones that you would be able to run into that could... Well, also Raid Boss, um, Zulgoth. Anyway, upgrades are, let's see, plus one magic, destroy three random blue gems, poison the first enemy... Eliminate one magic from the first enemy, steal two mana from the first enemy, and deal five damage to the last enemy. Alright, so teams I have for you today a little different than usual. Um, this first team is super low rarity. Um, yeah, so it took me a while to get Marilith. Marilith is fantastic, but if you don't have her, Poison Master is an excellent mana generator himself. Um, explodes a bunch of green gems and poisons two random enemies, and, um, yeah, those don't matter at all. Um, now, something I was realizing as I was looking at this is that if you're low, I mean, if you don't have any of the higher rarity troops, you're not going to have this banner because it's from the underworld. So, if you don't have it, I would recommend picking a banner that is either plus brown plus purple uh do 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 like the dark banner from darkstone or pick one that is um plus purple plus blue to boost poison master so um i think probably dark banner would be best anyway uh actually now i'm using assassin for all of these um, all of these teams, but I have my assassin maxed out. Woohoo! So I'm going to change this. I am going to change this so that I can level up a different class. So, all right, let's see how this works. I have, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, I've already finished the first three tiers, and you should be able to finish the fourth tier for free. As long as you catch all Val Ravens and win all battles. So let's take this in. Hopefully it's going to work out for me that way. So I'm actually just going to go for this first and blow things up. Kapow! Now this is going to be a little slower because there's nothing here that does damage to all enemies, but I should have taken the. I should have done that. All right, and then we've got Poison Master. Now, if something is, no, Poison Master is this guy. This is somebody else. Uh, I'm going to go for her. Um, Yeah, this is just going to be really slow. But the nice thing about this troop is if they're po poisoned, then uh, you'll do double damage, which is fantastic. Um. The Poison Master does poison two random enemies, so blowing off the Poison Master before using, what's his name, the Scale Guard, is actually going to be really beneficial. So we'll do that. We'll blow things up. Kapow! Nobody is poisoned because dwarves are immune. <laughs> so I can't actually show you. Bummer. All right, he's probably going to summon, and that's okay. That just means more, um, more experience for me. For my hero. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to blow things up again. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we're just going to do that. And then we'll do this. So it's really slow if you have... Um, let me look at this team in just a second. So 
black manacles could work, but then you would want to replace skulk vein with something else. So base rarity, we want to sort by base rarity. And yeah, black manacles is definitely going to be faster. So you could replace, uh, yeah, you could replace the skulk fang with fang blade and put black manacles in there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to put it in the description for you. So black manacles, we'll do that instead. And then I want to boost blue and purple for certain. Uh, we really want to get some mana for the Poison Master as quickly as possible. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say plus plus purple. If you have that ability. So that would be Karakoff. That's pretty early on. Oh, but let me change this back. <laughs> Creating a new one on the fly. You can see my thought process that goes in here. All right. So I just need to paste this code. I will do that right here and copy the next code <laughs> copy all right let me see how many sigils i have i need to get oh boy i need to get some i need to get a vow raven there's one yay <laughs> that's just what i need so oh i like that he starts out with 75 percent mana that's cool uh but there we go really don't want to do that just yet. I'll take that, get rid of some yellow, give him some skulls if he wants some. Perfect. All right, well, I could do this to get some, uh, there we go. We'll do this. Okay, I'm running with Assassin, and the skull hit took out the last enemy, so I forgot to switch it. And, um, Assassin is actually a really underrated, I think, um, class, which is why I have it at 100%. Uh, plus, I like to use my Nagas now and then, so 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy when I deal skull damage. It's pretty nice. Plus, you poison enemies when doing skull damage as well, if your hero's in the front. Uh, and I am running this with most of these teams with Dusk's Aura, you can change it to back up to summon a bandit when an ally dies, if you wish. If you're worried about losing troops. Uh, let's see, I just did that one. So let's grab the next team. So normally this would be the point where I use a team that, um, that has a legendary on it. However, <laughs> Viper um, does damage to an enemy, poisons and charms them. And for two mana less, you could use Vasara, who does damage to an enemy and charms a random enemy. She doesn't po poison them, but she costs two less mana, and uh, I'm not worried about the poison. So um, so what we've got here, I'm using Black Manacles, Merilith, because she's a fantastic mana generator. Actually, she's the only mana generator on this team. Usually, I use two. Um, Vasara, whom I just mentioned, and Cobra... Um, simply because it summons, you know, it does a bunch of damage to one enemy and then it will summon. So if you're worried about getting into trouble, you can use this troop. If you're not worried about losing troops, then I would recommend Taipan because he transforms all uh, brown gems to red, which is going to feed Merilith and Vasara, and you'll be able to loop a little better using this. But if you're worried about losing troops, this would be good. Uh, I would recommend a minus yellow banner uh, if you switch to Taipan, though. All right, we'll take this one in. I've got enough to finish up Tier 4 already, so as long as I don't lose any batter battles, we are all good here. Uh, da -da -da. Copy. Okay, so let me see how I'm going to do this. Actually, I'm going to do it that way. Get some mana for Merilith. I forgot to change the class again. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. So we get Merilith filled up. She's such a good troop. I just love her. And actually, I'm just going to do damage to all enemies. And then I will worry about... I'll take the, the um, summoner first. And then we'll take this gal. 
Lord, no, sorry, Lady Ironbeard. <laughs> I knew who I meant. There we go. Next team is using Uriali. I've decided to pronounce it the way it's spelled. <laughs> so I can remember how to spell it. I always call her Uriali. Uh, but I'm going to call her Uriali from now on. Alrighty, so here is what I've got going on here. Again, I'm using only Merilith as a mana generator. I'm using Fiendfire because it's going to curse all enemies. The burn is always going to be helpful, especially on lower levels. Um, but the curse I wanted because I'm cursing here. I'm poisoning with Uriali. And Royal Assassin is going to do an extra 10 damage per uh, one of these status effects. So if you're also using Elementalist, that would be an extra, that could be up to an extra 30 damage added on here. So I think that's pretty cool. He starts with 75% mana, which actually we need to get some status effects on board before we use him. But, you know, you again, you could throw Taipan in here. Um, however you want to do it, but I thought that was uh, pretty cool, and I don't think I'm going to need it, but <laughs> I've got him there, you know, just in case you want to try that out. Um, but anyway, there will be one more team after this one. I'm going to grab that code right now. Do, do, do. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to take that and this and mana for... Merilith is my priority so that I can get mana for my team. Um, you know, things don't always work out the way I want them to, though. So, we'll take blue and red. Now I've got my mana. All right, perfect. Plus, he created some green, which is great. And we're going to hit him with this and one-shot him with Uriali. Oh, so glad I pulled her this week. Just makes me so happy. Ah, that's the, it's the only troop I needed for, um, Mrs. Scales. So I keep forgetting to change the class. I'm going to change it this time. So now I'm not. So Cobra's Curse is going to do, uh, damage when any me boosted by Naga allies and then create a mix of six red and green gems for each Naga ally. So that is part one of my mana generation. Then I've got Poison Master here for, and Marilith. It's, you know, it basically I'm putting everything uh, damage-wise onto Mamba and Cobra's Curse. But it's going to loop nicely. And, of course, you can switch this up. You can throw Cobra in there. Just change the banner if you do. Um, yeah. Let's take this in here and see how it works. I'll just leave it on Assassin. That's fine. So you can see how Cobra's Curse works. Co Cobra's Curse is in the Soul Forge right now. If you don't have it, of course, you can use anything else you want. Um, just don't mana block anything. You could use Dancing Daggers here. You could use Mountain Crusher if you felt like it. Just whatever is appealing to you at the time. So uh, I am once again, excuse me, going to prioritize Merilith. And Cobra's Curse, because there's no red on the board. That is so helpful. Thank you so much. I am going to... I got a Val Raven. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to get into round five, but um, I'm just going to show you how this works real quickly, and we'll go from there. I'm going to take this, and that's exactly what I wanted. Now, the nice thing about Mamba is that all green allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn. And the nice thing about that is that these three all use green. So that's actually one of the reasons that I chose um, uh, Cobra's Curse for this team, besides the fact that it's just really perfect for the team. But watch this. We're going to get a summons. This is the nice thing about Mamba. Watch this. Ha ha ha! It took out the summons too. Hee <laughs> hee so there is a plus side to Mamba Sierra that you don't normally hear about. Anyway, that was perfect timing. I'm glad that worked out with the summons on that last one. So uh, I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions, of course, I'm always available to answer, you know, if I'm at the computer. 
but I am always happy to answer questions. Please comment below if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!